Ready. All right, is everybody ready? Sure. Huh? All right, let's do it. All right, ready? So, T. All right, let's do some startups. Ready? One, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Squats. Ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Then we're down push ups. Ready? Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten. All right, ready, start on scan. Ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Hands on your chin. Ready? We'll do our squats. Itch, ni, san, shi, go. Roku, shichi, hachi, ku, chu. Then we'll do our push ups. Ready? Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, all right, ready? Come up, clinch knees. Ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And again, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Then you line your backs, so we'll do crunches. Woo! -hoo. Ready? Each. Arms across your chest. Knee. Dan. Shi. Go. Raku. Shichi, Hachi, Ku, Chu. And again, ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right, then we're going to go elbows to knees. Ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Scissors, legs over and under. Ready? Itch, knee, sun, she, go. Roku, Shichi, Hachi, Kuju. And again, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right, good job, team. Jump up. All right, ready? Lateral jumps. Hands to your chin, jump side to side. Ready? And a one, and a two, and a three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right, let's stretch. One hand out, stretching all the way out. Ready? One, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Excellent. A leg, itch, knee, sun, she, go, roku, shichi, hachi, ku, ju. For the side, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Other side, itch. Ni, San, Shi, Go, Roku, Sichi, Hachi, Ku, Ju. All right, ready to the back. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Last leg. First leg. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Good job. All right, ready? Face in. So, Chi, ready? Okay, uh, you're going to grab a quick drink and then you're going to take your belt off for me. Go. All right, and then you're going to make a mini circle with it or a big circle. It depends on how much room you have. So if you don't have much space, you make a little circle. If you have lots of room, then you can make a big one. And then you're just going to stick it on the floor. Your mini circle. Look at that, my best work yet. So you're gonna get your belt, probably can't see because it's dark, black belt on black mats. So get your belt, make a circle. Great, so we're gonna be doing some footwork, okay, for our sparring. All right, we'll just wait till everybody's all ready. Give me a thumbs up when you're all ready, team. I know you're good to go. So we're just gonna make a circle. Okay, so what we're gonna do is this. Now the first footwork that we're gonna do that we did two weeks ago, okay, is our circling. 
So with my belt, okay, I'm going to start off really far away and I have to get closer and closer as I do my circle, okay? But I've got to go around the belt. I don't go through it. I should say, did everybody get that one? So you've got to circle around the belt. Ready, set, go. See it? So go around, around. You start further away and I want you to start getting closer and closer to it, closing in the gap without giving away too much. I see it. Try and keep your eyes up, Miss Elizabeth. There you go. Good. And Yame, congratulations. You all made me do I'm going to hit my cat. Well, don't hit your cat. Your cat's meant to be training with you. Beat it up. Okay. Beat up your partner. Okay. So now watch me. I want you to watch carefully. When I do my circling, I start away from, away from the belt. Okay. And then I slowly want to get closer and closer without giving it away too much. Because if that was a person ready to fight me and I'm circling, if I get too close, they hit me, okay? So I have to look like I'm sneaking in without them realizing I'm actually getting closer to that so I can hit them first, I should say. All right, ready? One more round. So circle around and switch a lot. Don't just keep going in one direction. Switch whenever you're ready. Boom, 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 boom. That's it. And fast switches. That's it, circle around, circle around, transition far. We're gonna try not look down as well. Five, four, three, two, one. Yeah, man, good, okay. This time, this is what I want you to do with your belt, okay? So you're gonna make a nice straight line with it. So make a line. Make sure you've got room so you can go around and behind. Okay. So if you kind of understand, you make a line. Uh, for those who get lost or confused with this next four, then I'll show you an alternative what to do with the belt to help you. So I'm going to start on one side of the belt in my sparring stance. Just put that down so you can all see it. Move my noodle. Okay. So the first, next full work is our J curve. So as I go backwards, okay, I'm going to go down the belt. I'm going to follow it. And then I'm going to have to go around. Alrighty. So I start on the same side. I go down and I'm going to circle around. Okay. If that's too tr tricky, then all I do is I make a J with my belt. And then I go around it, go around my J. Okay. If that makes it a little bit easier for your footwork, and I just curl around the J. Alrighty. So you can just go straight line or you can do the J. So that's your full work, but keep your hands up. So I'm going to go backwards and then curl around. Yeah, I go down the line and I curl it around. Great dog team. And don't cut through, so it has to be a J curve, not a tick. Doesn't cut through straight away. Dip back and I curl it around. Back and I curl it around. That's it, that's it, that's it. Good. Okay, all right, yummy. Now you're going to go the other way. So, so I'm in J. All right, so now I do the exact same thing. I go in my sparring stance, but when I go back the other way, my leg goes back and then I go around. Okay, one more time. I go backwards, I'm in my sparring stance, I do my shuffle back, the front foot steps behind a little bit, so it goes around the belt for my J curve. So you go boom, 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 and then step around. That's it, Emma, you can go around small children, that works. That's it. If you've got your training partner today, which is bring your pet to your Zoom class, you can go around them. Practice, yeah. Should be hard if they're especially they're moving around a lot. That's it, that's it, that's it. My cat left. Your cat left. See? That's why your cat hasn't earned its white belt yet. All right, last couple team, five, four, three, two, 
One. All right, last one. Okay, so I just got to get my belt straight again. All right, last bit of full work. Now, who remembers? Hands up if you remember the lightning bolt. Great. Okay, because that's what we're going to do, incorporating our belt. So the belt's on the floor again. I'm in my sparring stance. Okay, so I'm going to start on one side. Actually, I'll start right down the bottom. So right at the end of my belt. Okay, so I'm going to go step on one side of the belt. Okay. I have to step on the other side of the belt and then I do my kick, okay? So I've got to be careful I don't get too narrow. So if I maybe move it out a little bit, I go like this, okay? So there's my gap. I don't want to travel in the middle of my belt. So I'm in my sparring stance. I've got to go step on one side, step on the outside, and then kick across, okay? Right in the middle is the person. So I'm in there. I start in the middle. I go step on one outside of the belt, step on the other outside of the belt, and then I kick. Good. Ready? So you guys have a turn. Nice, Jay. Good. Boom, boom, boom. I see it. Hands up, Marshall. Yeah, keep them tight. So I go step on one side of the belt, other side of the belt, kick. I see it. Hands up, Elizabeth. Oh, Jade's got the speed. Stop. See, Grace. Boom, boom, boom. Great. Good. All right. Now you're going to add the extra step. So now I start the same. I go little step, little step, and then this one's my big step. And then I kick off the other leg. Okay. So I do three steps now. One, two, three. Right? Now your full work might be small, but my body has to lean a lot. So when I go step, I shift my weight. Because if I, nobody stares at your feet when you're moving, when you're fighting them, they stare at you. So I sneak my foot across, but look like I've stepped bigger than I actually have. Then I go the other side, and then I go the other side. Okay? So step. See a couple more. Great. Ten more seconds. Eight. Five, four, three, two, one. Yeah, man. All right. Good job. Face in. That's it. All right. You can put your belt back on now. And if you got your gloves, I want you to put them on. Got spiders, put them on. I got my dog. Dog, you're gonna put on your dog. Daddy, he's fine. He's fine. Can you show me your pets after? Can't wait to meet them. All right. Okay, everyone grab your spider gloves, grab a drink. Okay, after. Okay. Come on, gloves. All right, so the reason we're wearing our gloves is because it still makes you feel like, uh, you know, you still have the habit of getting your, uh, your stuff ready and putting your gear on when we have to. Okay, if you don't have a glass, don't stress too much. But you can't really have the excuse that you left your clothes. So you can't come to me and go, oh, since I can't, I've left my gloves at home. You are home. Yeah. I left them at the dojo. I keep it. Right. Okay, anticipation. Who knows what anticipation is? Who anticipates someone? Marshall? How do we do it, buddy? So basically, you by um what the by what they're doing, you have to um guess what they're doing, like. Yeah. So what 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 do we have to use? Do we have to see? Do we have to think about what they're gonna do? Which um which... use your initiative. Yeah. So and that... like uh, and what they've done so far. Yeah. Yeah. So what 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 am I using? 
Am I assuming what they're going to do? Or am I seeing what they're going to do? You're seeing. That's right. Okay. So that's how I initiate it. So what I'm doing is I have to, you, a lot of people, when you're fighting other people and you try and anticipate, you've got to think about what the other person is doing and then you try and react. That's not what we want to try and do. Our job is to try and see what the person's going to do. So if they throw a punch, then, you know, I might have to anticipate that block or hit them first or kick. Okay, if they go high, I might have to go low. So that's what I'm doing. I'm seeing what they do. Because if I assume what they're going to do and just think <laughs> they don't, then it might not going to work out for me, will it? Alrighty. So I'm going to be in my sparring sense. Okay. So everyone's going to sense from here. My body's itching. So I'm looking, I'm watching, I'm ready to go. I'm here. I'm ready to hit. <laughs> So when I say one, okay, here, one. Okay, so still slow. One. Good. And again, one. So front hand punch. All right. Now you can go as fast as you can. Ready? One. Ready? One. One. Good. When I say two, you're going to go Yakazuki. Ready? Slow. Two. Go slow. Make sure target. Pull back. Recovery. Two. Go. Ready? Two. Two. One. One more front hand. Ready? Two. That's it. Two. One. 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 Two. Good. All right. Last one is three, which is a roundhouse kick off the front leg. So I got to lean back. So my foot turns. I lean back on this leg, lift up and kick. Okay. Straight to the head if you can. So when I come back, I get my body out of the as they come into attack and then I kick them. Okay. Now will be three. Ready? So let's practice. So back, kick. Right. Ready? Three. I lean back, kick. And that'll be number three. That's it. Ready? Three. Go hands up, Marshall. Three. Cool. All right. Ready? One. One. Front hand punch. One. Two. Three. Two. One. That's it. Front hand. Nice. Right. One. Three, four. There is no four. <laughs> Good. All right. Oh, Scott's just going for it. Bear, bear, bear. All right. So, okay. This is your challenge. You guys ready? You say, bring it on, Sensei. All right. So, this is what's going to happen. Competition time. So, anticipation is all about being first, okay, and hitting the person before they hit you. So, now... If I'm going to say the number and you have to react to that punch or that kick as fast as you can, whatever number. So we know one is a jab, number two is a reverse punch, number three is your roundhouse kick. If you make a mistake, you do the wrong one, you've got three star jumps, I should say. Because technically, if you make a mistake, that's somebody scoring on you and hitting you because you do the wrong technique. Yeah? Or, I should say. Great. Okay. Or if you're too slow, then there'll be three star jumps if you, if you think you had to think about it. I want Are you out if you add? Are you out of it, lags? Well, I don't, know, I don't know. You make a decision, okay? As soon as you just hear that number, go for it, all righty? I don't want you to think about it. I don't want you to hesitate because anticipation is all about reacting. All right, ready? So sparring stands. All right, here we go. Ready? Two. Oh, nice. Three. One. One. Three. One, two, one, two, one, two, three, three, one, two, three, three, two, one. Are we kicking off the front leg or back leg, Elizabeth? Ah, front. All right, ready? One. One. Two. One, two. One, two. One, two, three. 
four. <laughs> All right, ready? Three, two, one. Switch legs. So now, so now you've got right hand will be your jab. Your left hand will be your yakuzuki and your right leg will be your roundhouse kick. All right, ready? Three. Uh-huh. Two. Yeah, opposite now. One. Two. Three. One, two, three. Two. One. Three. All right, and I'm gonna switch back over. All right, when I say last set, you say best set. Last set? Best set. All right, so now, like I said, anticipation's all about seeing, seeing what the person's gonna do and then reacting before they do it, okay? I'm gonna hold up a number and that's um, you, the number you have to do, okay? So now you have to watch. You're in your sparring stance, you're ready. As soon as you see me pop up a finger, then you're gonna react and do that one. Nice, like that. All right, you ready? Two fingers. Good honesty, Marshall. I'm going to slow down. All right, last last set. Ready? Now you've got a key on each one. Here we go. Ready? And yummy. Good job. All right. Fantastic team. And bow. Good job. You can take your gloves off now. Great job. Pop them away. Grab a drink. It's good focus. Way too impressive. All right, we're gonna come back and focus on our self-defense. So, now what's gonna happen is we know we've been working on our eight vital targets. Now we're gonna start using some of those strikes and that is defense against someone that's gonna try and choke you, okay? So this is against a re-naked choke, which means someone's coming up behind you. You may not supposedly didn't see them come up, okay? We'll hear them and they're grabbing you around the neck and they're trying to pull you backwards so you're off balance, okay, and you're not grounded. What's the first thing we should probably do? Even before that, Scott. Marshall, what do you think? I'm um, sort of like hold your neck down so you can breathe better. Yeah, so yeah, you've got to deal with the arm that's in front of you, hey, okay? Because that first thing that person's going to do, as soon as they grab you, as soon as they grab you from behind, they're going to try and pull you off balance. Okay, and then once your feet aren't connected to the ground, it's very hard to stay grounded. And if you lose your balance and your center of gravity, then they kind of won. Alrighty, especially if you have multiple attackers. Okay, so the first thing we should do, okay, before oh. anything is not be there. Don't let it happen. Okay, no. simple as that. Don't give someone a chance to attack you. Hi, Sensei. Hi, Sensei. That's my feedback for yourself, Bets. Okay, but you know what? we can't assume that no one's ever going to attack us. So we've got to practice it anyway. So number two, if someone does it, okay, I have to, okay, drop my center of gravity, my body. Because like I said, the first thing they're going to do is they're going to try and grab you and pull you behind. So you're going to grab the arm they're choking you with. You're going to try and tuck in your chin. And I want you to drop with your legs and bend forward a little bit because they're trying to pull you backwards. So I grab, tuck, pull down. Okay, and I connect to the floor. Good. All right, now I want you to do it fast. Man, try and do it all in one hit. Try and not think about it. I want you to pull, drop straight away. I see you do that three times. All right, now the third one is what? Okay, once we've done that and we're in a kind of sort of safe position, we don't want to stay there and start panicking, stay there forever. 
Okay. What are our strikes we've been learning? What's something we can do? That's it. We've got our elbows to the face, to the groin. We've got our eye gouges. We've got groin strikes, foot stops. You can even use your head and smack them in the nose, in the back of you. Okay. So let's do it. Ready? So the first most important thing is that like grab drop beds. And then you've got to create the distance behind you. So you kind of move your body. So there's their body. And then you do your strikes, whatever you can. You go groin, you can go soul plexus, poke them in the eyes, scratch them out, smack them in the nose, stomp on their foot, try and aim for their kneecap, okay? Kick them in the shin. You got to do whatever you can to stop that person from trying to hurt you. And if that means it looks messy and it doesn't look neat, you're just going for whatever you can, go for it, okay? As long as you're safe. All right, ready? So you do your grab, drop bend, create the distance, and then do your strikes, whatever comes to mind. Okay, that's it. Good. All right, two more times, ready? As soon as I choke, pull my drop, shift my body away, strike, strike, do whatever I can. All right, last one on your own, ready? Set, go. All right, nice, Grace. Boom, 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 boom. Okay, so now once I do my strikes, this may be enough for them to let go and stop because they're worried about what's happening. Okay, but if they don't, it might just loosen up their grip a little bit if they're still trying to hold on. Okay, they might be trying to resist a little bit. So now we have to deal with the arm. So once I've got in this position and I stopped, I did what I had to, okay, to loosen up the grip. Now, if the arm is this way, I, I want to go, uh, um, I want to try and fake one way, okay, because if they're holding on tight, okay, so there's the gap where the arm is holding and this is where the arm, so I can't go out this way, can I? This is a full arm and shoulder here. It's all connected. But here, this is where the gap would be. So when someone's choking, if they're holding on tight, I'm going to go one way, turn my body one way to try and look like I'm getting out. And then I'm going to turn the other way. Ready? So I'm kind of throwing their body weight a little bit. That's it, Jay. So I go towards the gap and then I go towards the arm, but I stay holding on to it. Good. That's it. So if they're choking, I want to go one way, so it drags them over and then throw the arm out. And I'm still holding on to it. Yeah. Still holding on to it as a step out. So you step out this way. Now you have control of the arm as it comes out, and then you kind of deal with it. See it? Boom. Nice. Good. Yeah, 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 yeah. So you want to shift. And it's all in your hips. You're really connected. One, two. So get out of there. Sit. This might be easier to understand if you have someone attacking you as well. Good job. And your mate. Fantastic team. All right. Facey bow. Good. All right. Proper lines. Just realize the time. Okay. All right. So it is bring your pet, okay, to training if you wanted to. Yeah, your kids don't count. So, uh, don't try it, parents. Sorry. Okay. Um, has anyone got any pets that they want to kind of show the team, show everybody? Oh, running away, Emma. Running away. What you got, Miss Elizabeth? Ooh. Dalmatian. A Dalmatian. What's his name? Sully. Sully. Cool. Sully. Someone's got a puppy. I've got a puppy, but just outside. It's got <laughs> and he literally oh. ate Sully. Sully. Do they wake you up in the morning, Scott? No, no they're, they're chickens, so they don't. They don't. So, roosters make the noise. The chickens don't. Yeah. What you doing? We get, we get one egg a day, every day. Yay. From each one. Ricky time. Good. What about you, Marshall? You got your pets? Sit. Your cat's Sit. My cat. My cat also goes inside my bed. Yeah. It, it is no way. No, so it's inside, not under the blankets or something, in my bed. Yeah. All right, well, everybody, if you can see her, this is Coco, the rabbit. I'm just going to rabbit it. <laughs> That's all they do is sleep all day. 
<laughs> That's what rabbits do. That's all they want to do is eat and sleep. What is that? Hmm? That's, That's good dog. Yeah. All right. Good job, team. So we're going to bow out now. Uh, if you're in leadership, you can grab your side. I'm going to get more. Good job. So if you stay for leadership, grab your side. If not, you guys enjoy the beautiful sunshine. Make sure you get out. Goodbye. 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 Can my mom do side? No, I don't want to do side. I've got things to do. Say bye. Bye. <laughs> All right, just us two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, huh? All right, you ready? Okay, so we all know how to open and close. That's the hardest part. Once you know how to do that, we can do the rest. Move <laughs> Elizabeth. Good mark. Perfect. All right, team. Let's do this. Okay. So what we're gonna do is this. Okay, can everybody see me? My hand. Okay, you're gonna hold your side and your left arm on the left side. So both of them are gonna get held onto the left. I'm gonna try and hear you guys, so wish me luck. All right, we're gonna bow. Okay, you're gonna grab both of your side out, you're open. You're gonna go up into the air, make a triangle, or an X, sorry, and then you're gonna say extreme side form one. Extreme side form one. And then you're gonna tuck them in. All right, ready? So from here, my right hand comes up. That hand comes around. Where are you going, Elizabeth? You left us. It's like a mini pinky hole. Good job. Let me just put this one up just a smidgen. All right, ready? So yeah, we're gonna do our turn, strike, punch, open around the head, chop, pull back. And do the same thing as that. One, two, open around the head, chop, and then pull back. That's it, Marshall. Double punch. Double open, both come around the head, slice. All right, ready? Right hand comes up, spin, left hand comes up, and then you poke. All right, tuck them in. All right, back leg kicks one. Jumping front kick two, ki, and then land. Right, okay. Now from here, we're gonna go back fist punch. We're gonna open it up. Okay. Oh, sorry, wrong hand. I'm gonna open it up. <laughs> You're gonna spin around the head, slice underneath. I'm gonna open up my left. I spin, turn around behind, slice around. So that's it, spin around Elizabeth. Wee. Good. Step forward with the back hand, back leg, slice down, and I make a mini X down here. And I do my block poke. And then I tuck in one, just one of them. Good, all right, let's go back to the start. All right, you ready? And we're back. All right, we say extreme side for one. We tuck in each, we come up and around. All right, ready to go. One, two, three, four, other side. One, two, three, or back, you're gonna double punch, double open around. Good, all right, then I go block, block post, yeah. tuck him in, I go kick, jump kick, kick. All right, how'd you go, Marshall, in your horse dance, buddy? Show me your horse dance, Elizabeth. I've already done the whole cutter. All of it, or just the first half? First half. All right, well, we're gonna do all of it, so it's fine. All right, ready to go, block punch. Okay, open your side, spin around the head, tuck underneath. Open up the other side, spin around, slice. Step forward, slice down, pull back, block poke. All right, All right ready? I uh, tuck in this one. All right, I spin around, I lift up my leg, jump, tornado kicks, keep spinning. And I land back. Okay, just like here, Nina, and I put that side down and then I poke with the other one. Good. 
All right, and then I'll pull back. Tuck it in. And I spin around, so I face the front again. Arms come out, open, here. And I tuck in. How's that, huh? Now you've done the whole cutter, yeah? There are no shortcuts. Good, all right, last one. Ready? We bow. We say extreme side form one. Tuck, ready, each. Turbo speed time, ready, go. One, two, three, four. Aza, one, two, three, four. Double whammy, double one, double two. Three, four, tuck, kick, jump, kick, ki Yeah, you left us, Elizabeth. Mom's a little frozen, oh man. All right, ready, go. One, two. Open, spin around. Open your arm, chop down. Step forward, chop down, pull back, block, poke. Tuck in this one. Spin, jump, kick, spin, land back. Did I lose you? Open one up, Elizabeth, that's it. All right, I'll pull back. Tuck it in. Spin around. I go out. And then I do my ki yeah. And back. And that's it. That's the whole thing. Isn't that confusing or what? Bye. Oh, okay. See ya. Just leave me.